seismic charges. Stand by. Hey guys, welcome to today's video. You're going to need to pinch your nose or hold a handkerchief to your face for this one. Because today I will be revealing to you what were the stinkiest aliens in the Star Wars galaxy. This video was requested by Blocky Muffin, so thank you for your request. I too believe this is an important topic that needs to be covered. The Star Wars galaxy was a wild and unpredictable place. You never knew when you might encounter a bloodthirsty Sith, a deadly high-tech droid, a hungry rancor, or a clan of money-minded bounty hunters. But did you know there were some stinky hair-raising, stomach-churning aliens who really knew how to test your gag reflexes? Some of these aliens occupied high positions of power, and spent a lot of their time in some of our most beloved Star Wars landmarks, such as the Galactic Senate and the Jedi Council. So it is thought-provoking to think that the Star Wars galaxy was potentially quite a stinky place. Without further ado, let's find out who the top 7 stinkiest aliens were, and tackle just another lore topic not widely talked about among Star Wars Deras. Ranking in at number 7 we have Pogo the Lesser, who was the public leader of the Geonosians during the Clone Wars. He was in control of the Stalgassan Hive, and had oversight of the Bactoid Battle Droid factories, becoming a very powerful figure within the Confederacy of Independent Systems. Despite his prestigious resume, looking at him you can tell he is immensely stinky. He has thick reptilian skin, which looks to be patched with mold, potentially caused by him living in an unclean environment where other Geronosians have probably left their shedded skin and secretions on the floor, causing the bacteria feeding off these organisms to produce odorous gases. That's life in a hive for you. The only way I could accurately describe the smell is like hydrogen sulfide, which is where the smell of rotten eggs derives from. How do I tell Puggle he smells without him tying me to a pole in an arena of hungry nexuses? Next, ranking in at number 6 we have Videz or Met, who was from the planet Saurish and represented the Vincisaur sector in the Galactic Senate. Now this thing on his head looks like an inflamed pulsating pimple, begging to be popped. As you can see there are dozens of deep crevices that line the majority of his forehead, which I imagine would get super sweaty when in hot environments and participating in sporting activities. We humans have smooth foreheads and when we sweat it slides right off, but the crevices on Vidas's head would act as friction against the gravitational pull of sweat down his face, thus causing it to get caught and over time creating a smell equivalent to a sweaty armpit. That ain't a good first impression when meeting other senators for highly important discussions about diplomatic relations with the separatists. Next, ranking in at number 5 we have Senator Toombak Tora, who made it into the galaxy's most beautiful woman list. Go watch that video if you want. Toombak Tora represented the people of Cymurth and the Galactic Senate, and despite being a woman of class and elegance, it is evident through my visual analysis that she would smell like a wet dog. She has this very short and subtle fur that covers her whole body, but she wears very heavy and luxurious gowns over the top that would undoubtedly cause her to sweat. When Tora does sweat, or if she hasn't dried herself properly after a shower, this will set off the yeasts and bacteria in her fur that have taken residence in it. These microorganisms leave behind micro excreter in the form of organic compounds which is commonly found in dogs, and the wet dog smell comes from the moisture evaporation that carries some of the compounds with it, producing the scent which scientists describe as a mixture of almond, fruit honey, and mushroom with a hint of sulfur and feces, making the wealthy and famously corrupt senator the fifth most stinky alien in the Star Wars galaxy. Next, ranking in at number 4 we have Operancesis, who was a Jedi Master and member of the Jedi Council from the planet Thispius. He too has that stinky looking reptilian skin, but what makes him our number 4 is that voluminous beard. A beard is an odor trapper which can easily absorb the smell of smokes and any foods that may be dropped on it like milks and cheeses. Can you imagine what Oppo's bed would smell like after a slither through the lower levels of Coruscant with its filthy atmosphere and poor quality of air? Or in addition, he slides around on a slug-like body all day, collecting the galaxy's many bacteria and dirt, 
most likely causing him to smell like a garbage bag, with all the stinkiest components of the galaxy combined into one on the surface of his tail. Yikes! Hi, can I please place an order for a 40kg box of soap please? Thank you, next! Ranking in at number 3 we have Tundra Domir, who was a Quarren and served as Senator of Moncala during the Clone Wars. Pinter knows for this one because his home world of Moncala was an oceanic planet where the predominant amount of cities were built underwater, which means that I have reason to believe Tundra would smell like tin tuna or just the ocean in general. Returning to the Senate from trips from his home world would have been nauseating for senators sitting in the surrounding repulsive path, seaweed stuck in his gills and his tentacles absorbing the smell of dead bitter smelling fish from his ocean's world would have made those around him think a 7 day old seafood platter was on their lunch menu. When eating seafood it's usually courteous to eat it outside, so I'd be saying to Tundra, please just Skype in from your home world to spare the rest of the senate's nostrils. Next. Ranking in at number 2 we have Zuckus, who was an insectoid Gan Feynman from the planet Gand that worked as a bounty hunter during the Grand Civil War. He became one of the first of such to leave his planet's thick and toxic atmosphere and wore a respirator to breathe ammonia while operating in oxygen rich atmospheres in the wider galaxy. Now you might be quite interested to know why he's our number 2. He wears a lot of metal. His gas mask is metal. The respirator connected to his breather pack is metal, and his battle armor is also metal. And who else hates metallic smells? And just look at how rusty that armor actually is. The heat of his body would have amplified the already existing musty metallic smell in his rusty body wear, creating that awful smell we all know and despise after touching an old coin or a zipper. This is because that scent is actually a body odor created by the reaction of oils in the skin, in contact with objects that contain iron. Zarkus is lucky Darth Vader can't smell, because he would have been forced choked during his time on the Star Destroyer if Vader had smelt the bitter metallic. Next! Now for the moment you've all been waiting for, ranking in as the stinkiest alien in the Star Wars galaxy is none other than Hermie Old who was one of the aliens employed by Jabber the Hutt at his Tatooine Palace. Jabber employed him for his weapon making skills, and he was tasked with making the palace impenetrable. But how do you make something impenetrable when the greatest threat is on the inside? A threat to your nostrils and health, Hermie Old looks stinky in every way possible, whether it be his tattered filthy looking coat, drooping mouth which would smell like the constant acidic breeze of burps, or his cracked dried skin which would smell the equivalent of Jabber's excrement after sitting in a sewer for weeks on end, waiting to be disposed of by the Death Star Super Laser. Hermie would have most likely smell like cheese, burps, a pig, wet dog, manure, mold, sweaty armpits, rotten eggs, or combined into one super scent capable of singeing every hair in your nostrils, ultimately dissolving him the stinkiest alien in the Star Wars galaxy. I'm sure he is a nice guy though, and he did manage to escape the blast at Jabra's sail barge during the battle of the Pit of Carcoon, so I'm very happy for him. So there you have it, the 7 stinkiest aliens in the Star Wars galaxy. You can unblock your noses now and breathe in some fresh air. Let me know what you think in the comment section below, like and subscribe, and I shall see you all in the next video. And remember, be happy. We lost the transmission, sir.